In this video, we will walk you through the cloning process using the Acronis cloning software that is included with Kingston SSD products. Before we begin, we want to ensure our SSD is properly connected to your system. For desktop users, you can install your Kingston SSD in your system before the cloning process. For help with installation, please refer to your system's user manual or view our step-by-step -step SSD desktop installation video in the description below. For notebook users, an external USB SSD enclosure may be required for this cloning process. If you have one, connect the enclosure to your notebook before starting the cloning process. Now that the hard part is over, the first thing we'll need to do is download and install the Kingston SSD Manager or KSM. The link will be in the description below. Once downloaded, the next step is to launch the KSM application and simply click on the Acronis tab and then click on the Download for Windows button. A Kingston SSD must be installed in your PC to use the Acronis True Image for Kingston software. If you do not have a Kingston SSD present, you will see the product activation required screen. Click on the install button to proceed. Once the application is complete, click on start application. After accepting the license agreement, we can now proceed to the cloning process. At this point, the Acronis software will begin to detect and validate your new Kingston SSD. As mentioned previously, a product activation required screen will appear if the Acronis software does not detect the Kingston SSD so please ensure the SSD is properly connected to your system before proceeding. Under Tools, select Clone Disk, and the Clone Disk Wizard will appear to guide you through the process. Select Automatic and click Next to continue. Here you will choose the source disk or the disk that your operating system is on. It is very important to make sure that you're selecting the correct source disk. Using the wrong source disk could result in permanent data loss and you definitely don't want that. Once you've checked and double checked that you have the proper drive selected as your source disk, click next to continue. Here, you're gonna to wanna to choose your new Kingston SSD as the destination disk. Please note, if your destination disk contains data, you may see a warning appear. Confirm that you've selected the proper source and destination drives and continue only if you're confident that you no longer need the data located on the destination disk. Once you have your destination disk selected, click next to continue. Next, we'll choose our cloning method. If you plan to replace the current operating system disk, source disk, with your new Kingston SSD, destination disk, please select the to replace the disk on this machine, then click next to continue. A summary screen will now appear displaying the new partition structure of the SSD drive. The original partition will be automatically scaled based on the new SSD size. For example, if the new drive is smaller in size than the original hard drive, the partitions will shrink accordingly. If the new drive is larger than the original hard drive, then the partitions will be enlarged proportionally. Select Proceed to Continue. At this point, you're going to need to restart your computer so the cloning process can continue. Now that the cloning process is complete, you are now ready to use your new solid state drive. For desktop users, your system will be configured with two bootable devices. You must enter your system's BIOS and set the boot priority so the SSD will be the first device the system will boot from. For notebook users, you are now ready to disconnect the USB enclosure and install the new SSD into your notebook. For installation guidance, please refer to your notebook's user manual or view our step-by-step -step SSD hardware notebook installation in the description below. Thanks for watching.